Hey guys, welcome back to the Creative Shack. My name is Lisa and today we are going to be organizing stickers. Stickers, guys, in your craft room. Now, I am a sticker fanatic. Too much. If, if I like really showed my husband all my stickers, I think he would say you have a problem, which I probably do. Now, I used to be into scrapbooking. I used to be into like a lot of that kind of stuff. And I've accumulated so many stickers. Now, I will tell you, it's very difficult to organize stickers. I actually found my niche of organizing stickers. This does work for me. It works so well for me that when I bring stickers into my craft room, where do you put them? That kind of thing. So this has been a lifesaver for me for three years, okay? Um... I actually posted a video, oh God, about three years ago, maybe four years ago, and I wanted to show you guys how I organize them. It still works for me. It totally still works for me. You know, I kind of revamped it a little bit since I came down into my basement, but it's still the same organization style. Now, I accumulated more stickers, which is not good, so, you know, you have to purge and stuff like that, okay? So, this has worked for me, and I hope you guys love it as well too but everybody's organization and style is different you need to actually find your organizational style for a certain craft room organization if that makes sense okay i'm telling you it's taken me a while to organize a actual craft room okay so i wanted to throw out some videos for you guys what has definitely definitely worked for me okay so let's get started okay so i actually designated two shelves from this bookshelf as my sticker storage. I don't like when my stickers are here and there, that kind of thing. You need to designate a spot for your actual stickers. If they are in a drawer, if they are on a shelf, that kind of thing, just make sure you put it all in one, okay? I love to see my craft items. You might not like to see it. You might like to shut it and make it look pretty, that kind of thing. I love to see my storage, okay? So I actually use a lot of bins from Dollar Tree, like this one and this one. And I love to use um, photo bins, boxes, okay? You can get these at Hobby Lobby. You can get these at Michael's for like $2.99, $3.99, that kind of thing. You can get them as pretty as these. So these are photo boxes and I just put the lid underneath it. Okay. If you don't want that, you could put the lid on top of it so you don't see it. Like I said, I love to see my storage. So anyway, you definitely want one bin. Okay. For in and out. Okay. Now the reason why I say that is because I can get lazy and when I bring home stickers and I know I'm going to use them right away or later, or when my mother-in-law gives me so many stickers and she doesn't want them anymore, I put them in this bin. Now, when this bin gets full, I will organize them, okay? And I'm going to show you how I organize them. Now, I haven't gone through these stickers, I'm going to say like in months, okay? Now, when it gets super full, then I start organizing them. So I always have a designated spot for that. Now, this bin is from Dollar Tree. This is one of my favorite, favorite bins because it fits a lot in here, okay? You can see how this is packed, okay? It's packed, guys. And then I put like my longer stickers here because I still haven't got gotten a chance to go through them, okay? And I get a lot of stickers on clearance as well too. So I just put that right here until I get to it, okay? Now, I organize these stickers through holidays and miscellaneous, that type of thing. Now, what do you do with your holiday stickers? Okay, I actually put them in a storage um, photo bin, photo box, okay? And I make these labels, okay? These, this is from the Dollar Tree, okay? I took um, those what are they called? Poly envelopes? No, they're not called that. They're called file envelopes. Okay. And I cut them. Okay. 
and I just put a little label on it, Valentine's Day. And then I put all my Valentine's Day stickers right in here. I love to flip through them like this. Some people like to put them in a binder. That's great. That's like micro organizing them. Me personally, that would make me drive me crazy. But um, if you guys like to micro organize, that's fine. And just remember, I purged a lot. Like I've had a lot more as well too. So I just love to flip through this. You can see St. Patty's Day right here, that type of thing, and so on and so forth. Okay. So this definitely keeps me organized. I'm telling you guys, like when I go through this, I'm like, okay. And then I just pull it out. Now, I do take the film off of the stickers. I do take the packaging off of the stickers because they fit really nicely in here. You might want to keep all that. It's totally up to you. So then I just actually just put this right here and it fits beautifully. Now, I will tell you, I like my Christmas stickers separately. I'm obsessed with Christmas. It's just my type of thing. And these bins are perfect. Perfect, perfect. These are from Dollar Tree. They are plastic. But look at They fit stickers perfectly. Look at that. Okay? Let me just tell you. Like, all right. So I just keep my Christmas stickers in a totally, totally separate bin. And I just label it, that type of thing. And I just bring it to my craft station when I'm doing a Christmas craft and I need a stickers and blah, blah, blah. Okay? So I always keep that separately. All right? Then I sometimes will organize stickers with mini binders. Now, I used to do this a lot. And this was great. Don't get me wrong. It was amazing. But... At the same time, it was a lot of work, okay? So I like Zoom Zooms, which are Disney. So I like to keep them separately. So, you know, you have stickers. I have like little sticky notes that I like to cut up to make them stickers, that type of thing. So I always organize them with a binder. Um, and I just put it right here. Now, these is another box. And these are felt stickers and foam stickers. So if you don't know what that is, these are like foam stickers that you can get at Dollar Tree that you can get pretty much at any um, craft store, that type of thing. These are flat felt stickers. So I label these. These envelopes come from Dollar Tree. I love these. I absolutely love these. Okay. These are amazing. What these are is they're clear, love clear things, okay? And they just have like a little zipper to them, okay? And then I just go right in here and I'm like, okay, I want this bunny, that kind of thing. And I just label it Easter, okay? These are great. I like these separate from my actual holiday stickers. Even though this is holiday related, these are different stickers, okay? So, you know, I have Easter. Then I have... Valentine's Day. Now, this um, was uh, a clear, what is it? It is an envelope, but I think there was like pillowcases or something like that. I'm reusing that. That's, that's the greatest thing. You can reuse things like this, okay? Don't throw them out, okay? Reuse them, guys, because I'm telling you, just label it Valentine's Day. This is another one that I got from Dollar Tree, okay? So, these are um, like they're like foamish. So these are great envelopes that you can get as well too. Um, so, and then it comes, it gets packed like this. So this one's Halloween. Okay. And I love this. Now these right here are like kind of, I would say like chipboard die cut things. Um, I keep them in here as well too, because they are holiday related. So, just like Christmas. So, I actually, they fit perfectly, just like that, guys, okay? And then I just go through them like that, all right? Now, I do have a um, Dollar Tree kitchen shelf in here. This works perfectly as well, too. So, I can get more storage in here. 
Okay, so this right here is my Disney sticker storage, okay? This is my favorite sticker storage ever. I started out with this and I love it, okay? So I love Disney. If you don't know me, my whole downstairs here on the other side is all Disney related, okay? Um, these are amazing. These are like poly coupon holders, that type of thing. Okay, so I actually put like the Disney cars and planes. Okay, and you have probably one, two, three, four, five different slots. Okay, they come in all different colors, all different designs. It seems like every month they're coming out with like more designs with these. Okay, I chose black a while ago and I love these. So, you guys, all I do is like, okay, I'm doing a project with. The cars and planes from Disney, pull this out, and then I just go through them like this, okay? And yes, do I micro-organize them? Yeah, I do a little bit. I put, you know, um, the cars in one and the planes in the other, you know, sparkly ones to non-sparkly ones as well too. So these are amazing. I'm telling you guys, like, I love this organizational um, hack that I actually found on YouTube. Okay. Like three, four years ago. Okay. Um, this one is Mickey mouse. Now this one is a little bit full. Now I will tell you, I put foam. Look at all that. I put foam pieces like this in here as well too. And they do fit. So like Mickey and friends, the classical Mickey, that type of thing. Um, and then all I do is just, you know, bring it to my workstation. Okay. I have about two to three different workstations. So anyway, I just bring it right, right over that, except bringing a whole box, fid fiddling around to it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing you want your stickers like, like this. You don't want them flat. Okay. You want to see your stickers. Okay. And look at this guys, these boxes, these fit. So good. Look at that. Okay. And look how organized this is. So then I just put that right underneath here. Okay. Now, another thing that I organize them with, if you guys can see here, are these photo boxes. Okay. These photo boxes are amazing. I love these. Um, they're like 99 cents that you can get at Michael's. Um, if you go on Team you, you can get stuff like this as well, too. Um, these fit amazingly. Now, I just put diamond and design. I don't have a lot of diamonds, but yes, if you guys can see that. And I just put them right here. Now, look how perfectly these fit in this Dollar Tree bin. Okay, like I said, these Dollar Tree um bins are amazing i'm telling you i'm telling you so anyway these are my holiday <laughs> they're like my wood stickers i put holiday embellishment stickers sure okay so like i'll pull out this one this one's christmas if you guys can see that they're like my wood pop-up stickers okay let me see what else i got you can always organize like 4th of July stuff, you know, that type of thing. Halloween. Like these, I'm telling you, where do you put these? These fit perfectly in here. Perfectly. And look at, they fit, okay? They fit. And it looks really nice. And you can see it. That's the thing you can pull it out and you can see it okay so i put them right here i have envelopes like this now this one's called harry potter i like my harry potter separate that's just me because i love harry potter now i put these right here okay and because it just i just like them right here and it fits now would it go somewhere else yeah you can put it near the disney but here's my problem with this shelf. It doesn't fit. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just put it right here. All right. Now these stickers down here were my first, I'm going to say 
organizing sticker solution, okay? These, I, I haven't seen these bins in a long time, okay? I'll be honest with you. These were amazing, okay? So this is how I organize them. Now you can fit, I fit one, two, three, almost four of these in here. Just look at it, okay? These actually came from Dollar Tree. This box actually came from Hobby Lobby, okay? This is how I organize my stickers, okay? And then you see how it's like color coded? They don't have that anymore. They just have the these black ones like I showed you. Um, I wish they came out with these because these are clear and I love that they're clear, but it's okay, you know? So anyway, that's another solution. Now I do put a label on top of these. So this one says nature, woodland, flowers, insects, okay? So when I put, so when I pull it out, I can see the label on top of this envelope, okay? And these fit amazing, amazing, perfectly into this bin, okay? And I just slide it right in there. This one, same thing. This one's a little bit more packed. <laughs> so I have, let's see, see, you could put the labels right up here. This one says kids. Okay, meaning like, you know, for my kids, like robots and like, you know, stuff like this. This one says wedding, baby, that type of thing. Now, like I said, you could put more in here. This one says boho. This is from Dollar Tree as well. See how they have different designs. So I put all my boho stickers in there. I like my boho separately. Okay, and I just put it right in here. This one. This one says school, you know, for kids, like that kind of thing. I like to scrapbook some of their school things. So I buy stickers for their school, you know, papers and stuff like that. So I put that right in here. There's this is another one. Okay. Um, I have these really cool like superheroes, so I like to keep them separately. Now, if Dollar Tree brings these back out and I haven't seen these, okay, these are nice. It's usually two of them for a dollar, 25, okay? So I have those, okay? And then I have this big bin. Now, I got this at TJ Maxx, okay? It's like a file organizer, okay? This was like 10 bucks. It might be a little bit more than that. But I knew I can use it for something. This works out beautifully. I just put it in here. It has like a little handle and I pull it out. Now these are for my ABC stickers, my alphabetical stickers, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call them. Okay. So I organize them with these envelopes. Okay. These envelopes are amazing. You get three of them for a dollar. Now the, these design ones, like you guys can see here, there's like designs on top. They're two for a dollar. Okay. Let me see if I can pull. So like this one right here, they're like three for a dollar. There's a difference. Okay. So I organize these with color, okay? So I have silver, blue, and purple. See, I put like a, like a little label on there, that type of thing. They actually have clear as well too. So I organize all my alphabetical stickers in these. And all I do is put them right in here and they fit so good, guys. Like really, really good if I can put them in here, okay. So, and then what I do is, okay, <laughs> so then what I do is when I need like say black letters or work on a project, black and silver letters, okay, why should I, you know, I just like, here's the, here's the um, label, I just go through them, you know, and I find black, silver, that type of thing. And that's the nice thing. You just go through it like this. It's super easy. Really easy. Okay. So that is my sticker storage. Now I'm going to show you how to actually organize them. Okay. It is time for me to go through this and show you how I do it. Okay. So, okay. So you definitely want to put them in categories. Okay. So if you have Halloween, if you have a certain holiday, if you have 
wedding, that kind of thing. If you have just flowers, insects, you know, put them in piles. So I'm going to show you how I do. Now, I'm going to use this one, and this one I labeled as Nature Woodland Flowers Insects, okay? Stuff like that. So, as you can see, I have so many here, but that's okay, you know? So, I'm going to just put these right in here like this. Now, how about if this doesn't fit? This doesn't fit in here, okay? So, what I do is I just take this. I just take it out of the um, packaging. And I put it right in here like that. Okay, so this is a longer one and it doesn't fit, okay? It's not gonna fit that type of thing. And you don't wanna bend it or anything like that. So what I do is I take it out of the film, okay? So these are my Easter ones that I got like super cheap on sale, okay? And all I do is I just cut this in half, okay? Just, you know, take your time. Make sure you don't like really like cut it, cut it. But you definitely wanna go around the stickers, okay? See? Okay, and then what you wanna do is you're just gonna find, this is how I do it. Is find Easter, which is right here, guys. Okay, and you just put them right in here. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go into this envelope, and I labeled it kids. So I want to put these two right in here. Now here's the thing, like I said guys, look at all these stickers, they are jammed packed, okay? Each color is like kind of a different section. Like one's like all dinosaurs, that kind of thing. One's all robots. Um, you can always micro organize them like that as well too. I do, but I don't, it all depends. But um, this thing expands, okay? Like I said, you're probably not going to find these, but I did get these at Dollar, a Dollar Tree. And, but I was just thinking, you can probably um, find these at the container store. I don't have a container store, but there's a lot of states that have container stores. And I would search that. If you do not, um, try to go to Home Depot, Office Max, Staples, and the ones that expand like this is amazing. Now the ones that expand like this, they're from Dollar Tree. You can see the difference, okay? Okay, so this is like my last one, guys. 
and I will tell you that this is a tough one. You can actually have a section or an envelope that's just summer, winter, fall, that kind of thing. Um, I actually don't have a lot of summer um, stickers. So what I'm going to do, the only time I do summer stickers is 4th of July. So I'm going to put these in the 4th of July section right here. But you guys can always do a separate envelope that has summer, winter, fall. Okay, so say you want to do mini binders, okay? These are great. I absolutely love these as well. I actually can get these at um, Dollar Tree. This one is at Target Dollar Spot. You can get them at Target Dollar Spot. And then the inserts, you can grab them at um, Dollar Tree, sometimes carries them, but Target is the one that definitely carries them, especially around like back to school, college, back to school, that type of thing. And December is when they come out with different binders like this. So like this one. So what I would like to do is do something a little bit different. So I love vintage stickers like these. These are very vintage. These are all from Dollar Tree, guys. And I absolutely love these. So I even have a booklet of um, vintage bottle caps, which I absolutely love. So I'm gonna show you how to just put them in here. It's super simple. And then I just kind of did a separate one for my Zoom Zoom stickers. So I just switched the binder. Okay, and here are the two shelves. They look perfect for me. You have the empty bin. You have the holiday stickers right here, vintage stickers. And then here's my other two bins, Disney stickers, holiday felt stickers. Remember I showed you about those. And then you're gonna come down here and there are more stickers in those bins. And I think these turn out so great, very organized. I love how everything looks and how everything is organized. If you guys like this stuff, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe, come on, subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Bye, guys. Take care.